Tyra Banks said, and I quote, When writing the story of your own life, don't let anyone hold the pen. Be original, be honest, and most of all, stay true to yourself. What agony accompanies a life, Christine useless. There's frustration and pain in playing it back in your head. With voices and pictures repeating those words you prefer not to hear. At least not from him, not from her. Everyone at some point have or will experience some form of rejection. It comes naturally in life. And I have come to realize that situations like this have goaded many great people to success. They have caused the positive changes that most of us are enjoying. God allows these things to happen because we are in a world that needs desperate people with large hearts. The world needs risk takers to cope with and triumph over ever-changing challenges. We are presently creating a society of individuals who are afraid to put their heads above the parapet for fear of failing. Even in marriage, suddenly, failure is an expensive crime and the best way to survive is playing it safe. Whoever becomes great, playing it safe. Life needs those who are potent enough to question or change the norms or where people have placed them. The norms of today were the risk of tomorrow. Everybody can fly now because the Wright brothers took great risk. We can see in the dark now because Edison decided to ignore his failures. He ignored his failures, his failures, his failures. The survival of tomorrow's generation depends solely on your ability to take that step, that great step, that great step. It is a word or set of words by which a person or things are known, addressed or referred to. It can also be a tag. It could be derived from an achievement. It could be derived from failure. What do people know Cristiano Ronaldo for? What do they remember him for? What comes to their mind the first time they hear his name? What do people know Carriers for? What do they know him with? After a mistake, what you decide to do is what is most important in life, said both. L. Nightingale believed, thought are things. Also, during the 20th century, neurosurgeons proved this to be true. When you picture something precisely and in details in your mind, you become that reality. Jacob understands this and that's why he became rich even as a servant in Laban's house. Genesis 30, 33 to 39. Genesis 30, 33 to 39. Who would you have been? If your name was Bush or Trump, maybe you would have had the opportunity to control the most powerful army in the world. What about Justin? Maybe you would have been the superstar the ladies are dying to be with. What about the name Mandela? This should be actually be a good one. But I do not think I want to even consider being a Mandela or I surely would have to think about it very well. My God, this man spent over 20 years in prison. Don't let me specify the exact number of years in case there is a mother trying to name a child after this great man. We celebrate this African hero. But who wants to tread his path to success? Who wants to tread his path to success? You? Me? Or who? 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 Who wants to tread his path to success? Before Abraham's name was changed, he was called Abraham. Abraham many exalted father a wannabe father wannabe father what do they call you clingy and needy jobless the worst man the worst woman failure dumb ass stupid irrelevant idiot good for nothing shameless or a great guy what do they call you what do they call you what do people around you call you what do your colleagues call you what do your family members call you what do your neighbors call you what does your wife call you? What does your husband call you? Abraham's name was changed to Abraham. God changed his tag from a wannabe father to the father of many nations. Genesis 17.5 Genesis 17.5 says, Neither shall thy name any more be called Abraham, but thy name shall be Abraham, for father of many nations have I made thee. My name is Uduak meaning God's will. A man who had so much heart, yet I chose to praise God. A man with so many stories, yet I glorify God. A man who has endured many setbacks, yet I am still willing to go on. A man of many contradictions, confusions. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? But I chose to hold on to God's promises in his word. I'm a man who has endured many difficulties, yet triumphed, disappointed, 
yet finds encouragement, faced rejections, yet accepted and loved, faced by God, and if you are still here, it's because you can readily relate with my story. What is your story? What is your story? What is your story? What can people relate to you with? What is your story? God is passionate about the individual who have chosen to journey through his path to success. So if you believe strongly and love with great favor, that which you are convinced of, your complete mental dynamics, works with a supercharged power, but does your current state in life contradict your name or belief? I have heard, read, most people who have achieved great success have at some point experienced challenges in their areas of success. Must it always be this way? We are told these times purifies and defines the path we should take towards attaining our destinies. Our destinies. James chapter 1, 2 to 12 explains this. God builds character in us. The unexamined life is not worth living, said Socrates. Said Socrates is not worth living. The truth, you are defined by your greatness or failures. God has, however, designed everything to favor your success, but He has to prepare you, and your name is what you become after the process. The bad memories, even though they scream the most, do not define who you are. Jesus did not stop at who do people say I am. People will never get the wisdom of your creation unless it is revealed to them, and only those who have to a part to play in your call will be given the wisdom to see through your lowest moments. I have met many who were asked to change their names, believing their setbacks in life were associated with their names. Please do not get me wrong, I am not saying you shouldn't act based on your conviction. I just do not only believe, I know your views about who you see yourself to be. Irrespective of undesired situation, has more to do with your living a fulfilled and successful life. If you don't swim, you can't be eaten by the sharks, but you will remain at the shore wondering where the diamonds are. There is no diamond without digging, without taking the risk. Champions are not known in the wilderness, but are made there. Stop seeking to be known, but to be made. For when you are made, you will be known, you will be known, you will be known. Be made, be made, for you will be known, for you will be known, for you will be known, for you will be known. Success is when you call yourself what God calls you. What to call yourself when he agrees with what God calls you, without even in the midst of contradictions. That is success. My name is Udwak Akman, but you can call me. My name is Buff and represents speaking peace. Our job, our life. We live, we breathe to keep your hope alive. If this has blessed you, please hit the like button, also share, and please you can subscribe. That goes a long way in encouraging us to confirm we are touching life. God bless you real good.